Hello friends and welcome to day seven of Fun with Cheese. Um, many of you might have heard that we are on a safer at home uh, regimen and um, well one of the things that I find really interesting is that we are in a special place here in Wisconsin because cheese is almost like the wine, it's better than the wine of California because you can sustain yourself off of cheese. Uh, remember, cheese is milk step into immortality. Today on our episode, uh, we're going to talk about some wonderful things we find in this area and um, how close you really are to your cheese, um, whether it's down the road uh, at one of the major uh, dairies that we have here in our central Wisconsin area where I'm a mile away from Nasonville. I'm five miles away from Lynn. I am eight miles away from Foremost. Uh, Gronke's Maple Grove Cheese is in Millador. Um, and they're about eight miles away. I can go 15 miles to Rudolph to Dairy State. Um, just in our little central Wisconsin area. We can go north of 34 and I can go north on 34 and I can get to Mullins, uh, which we've mentioned, uh, they're the Parmesan Kings and also have a wide variety of cheese as well. But today, we're gonna talk about processed cheese. And uh, processed cheese comes in many different forms. You may enjoy it a lot when you're sitting here watching a lot of Netflix because you are just snacking away watching a favorite show. Um, but these cheeses come up and we have uh, cheese spreads, which these guys, amazingly, when you look under the cheese standards, their rind is listed as plastic. Kind of a cool little fact there. Um, but in our house, we enjoy the spicier versions like a jalapeno from the old fashioned cheese. Uh, Pine River won the World Cheese Championships when it came to uh, processed cheese here, and this is a pepper jack, and this is a jalapeno. Um, and then these little aseptic pouches, which um, are what we're going to be talking about a little bit later and I'll show you the product we made. Um, but uh, cheese spread is, uh, it can be cheese spread, it's a cheese food. You might recognize it as Velveeta or Easy Cheese. It has a long shelf life due to the aseptic packaging, which that's what this is and what this is. Um, it is a blend of cheeses and other dairy, uh, non-fermented dairy products, whey, salt, and a little bit of coloring to make it look like that. Here's your fun fact of the day. The aseptic packaging that we know of today came about around 1960 by a Swede, and his name is Ruben Rousing, uh, and what gave you the actual high C container that you know today. But that kind of revolutionized the industry and what we know in aseptic packaging. And the concept would go into cheese where they would take the package and they would blow it out with a liquid hydrogen peroxide, and then they would take a sterilized oxygen and then blow that out uh, to sterilize the package and then they would then introduce the uh, pasteurized sterilized cheese product inside which would and seal it which would give you a long life and a cool product in many different forms that we enjoy today. Um, today we're going to feature uh, and our shout out goes to my sister uh, who came up with a product called Raccaroni and Raccaroni is a fun way of saying macaroni and cheese um, but Raccaroni is where you take a half a box of rotini noodles, or you the boil shells. the noodles, the and then, or shells, or whatever noodle you have sitting around, and then you add a packet of this cheese sauce, which you can pick up at any of the local dairies around the area, and as soon as they're done boiled, you add the cheese sauce, mix it in, and you end up with a cheese product that looks like yeah, this. Broccoli. You can also add broccoli and other things like that. But this is what Madison is having for lunch today. And she really loves her raccaroni. Broccoli. Now, what makes this different than this product is that the cheese that is in here is, it goes to many different uh, cheese processors around the area that uh, take liquid cheese and then they dry it. And this drying process happens at Sensory Effects in Marshfield, at Cary Ingredients in Vesper and all over the uh, state of Wisconsin. But they have a dry cheese product, which then you reconstitute with butter and milk, which is in this product. So take some time, find yourself a cheese place that you like. Um, you are going to find a menagerie of cheeses. Uh, around there and in these times of stockpile and remember cheese lasts for a long time as long as you take care of it uh, the other thing that you might find and it's tax season and that is finding a farmer where you might 
find some burger. Or when you buy the whole steer, you get sirloin steak. You can get burger, you can get roast and all those other things. But if you have room in your freezer, it's an awesome way to um, take that chunk of money that you might have, um, extra money that you might spend at the grocery store on a, a piece of meat uh, that you then incorporate in a cheese. But if you have the room to store it, you can get an entire side of beef, a whole beef, a quarter of beef, which is called a split side, and be able to put that away in the freezer. And then when you want to make a macaroni and hamburger, hamburger helper meal, you can uh, just go to your freezer, hang out, pick it out. Maybe it's a steak night and you want to pick a steak out. Go down to the freezer, pick a steak out. Um, and it runs a lot cheaper than buying it piecemeal at the store. Um, and you get to know the farmer that grew it, the processor that packages it, and uh, you end up with a pretty cool product that you will definitely know the difference from when you take it out of the freezer and, and get to know those relationships with those people that raise the food for you. So thank you farmers for all you do. Thank you processors for making sure that we have safe food to eat and thank you all for listening. Have a great day and have some fun with cheese.